morning dear students today we are going to discuss about the important topic that is mole concept in the chapter atoms molecules and chemical reactions right so before we go into this topic let us recall the previous topic that we have discussed so that is we discussed about the molecular mass right we discussed about the molecular mass and there we understood how to calculate the molecular mass using the atomic masses and also we understood that we have to learn uh, the elements up to 30 with their atomic masses so today we will go uh, to discuss the mole concept and this is very very important concept which is going to be continued right which is going to be the foundation for the next uh, classes 10th class or class 2 class 1 now the mole concept is uh, proposed by the scientist william oswald william oswald so what is this mole concept it is going to explain about what mole concept is used to express a large number right mole concept is used to express a large number say for example uh, we have leaves on the tree right leaves on the tree and how many number of leaves are present so they are countless so to express them to express them we need a terminology we need one concept and that is nothing but the mole concept to express the large number say for example i give you a handful of sand grains and i ask you to count them is it possible to count that right uh, sand grains no sand particles no not possible so simply we can say that it is equal to one mole say for example we are in this room how much gas is occupied in this what is the volume of the gas occupied in this room so we cannot express that so the volume of the gas occupied in this room is equal to one mole one mole so the large number is expressed in short term that is mole that is mole so mole is a concept given by the scientist william oswald which is used to express the large number which is used to express large number right so for example uh, when you go to your graduation or post graduation your seniors will write you right they are going to give you some rice grains and they ask you to count right so it's not possible to count right 25 kg of rice bag contains how many rice grains right we will you sit over night and count all the rice grains it's not possible so simply you can say that this 25 kg of rice bag contains one mole of rice so he has to find out what is this one mole of rice right so one mole of rice that means it contains large number of particles large number of particles right in my graduation i made my junior right to count all the trees present in the campus so if he is aware of the mole concept what he used to say the number of trees present in this campus is equal to one mole so i have to find out what is this one mole right is that clear so when there is a large number to express a large number simply we can say that it is equal to one mole right so this one mole of the substance is expressed in terms of volume in terms of particle and in terms of mass so one mole of any substance is expressed in three categories one is volume particle and mass one mole of any substance occupies how much volume one mole of substance contains how many particles one mole of substance contains how much mass so this mass again we can categorize into three parts one is gram atom mass atomic mass right so one mole contains how many gram atomic mass next one mole of substance when you express in terms of mass gram molecular mass next one mole of substance contains it can be expressed in terms of formula 
unit mass. Now, what is formula unit mass? It is used to express the substance whose constituents are ions. Example, NaCl. Right? In NaCl, the what is the charge present on the sodium? That is plus. And what is the charge present on the chlorine? That is minus. Ions, right? Positive and negative. So, when the compound consists ions, so whatever the mass is obtained for that formula, that is called as formula unit mass. Right? Sodium chloride is the compound, sodium chloride is the salt obtained, obtained from positive sodium ion and negative chloride ion. Right? So, whatever the mass of that sodium chloride is there, that is called as what? Formula unit mass. Now, one mole of substance in terms of mass is expressed as gram atomic mass, gram molecular mass and formula unit mass. One mole of substance occupies how much volume? That is 22.4 liters at STP. Right? 22.4 liters at STP. That is standard temperature pressure. One mole of any substance occupies 22.4 liters at STP. One mole of the substance contains how many particles? Right? It, uh, one mole of any substance contains 6.023 to 10 to the power of 23 particles. Right? This number is expressed as our Gandhi's number. N A. Both of them are capital and N subscript A. Right? Both of them are capital. Now 6.023 to 10 to the power of 23. One mole of the substance contains 6.023 to 10 to the power of 23 particles. One mole of the substance occupies 22.4 liters of volume. And one mole of the substance is expressed in terms of gram atomic mass, gram molecular mass, and also formula unit mass. Right? It's a very, very important concept. You, you need to understand this flowchart. Right? First of all, you need to understand what is a mole. Mole is the term used to express a large number, right? Mole is the term used to express the large number, right? When you look up the sky in the night and your friend or your sibling asks you, count the stars if possible, right? Is it possible to count the number of stars present in the sky? Some are visible, some are not visible, right? Immediately the clouds passes in between. So it's not possible, right? It's not possible for you to count the number of stars present in the sky. So simply we can say that one mole. Now, one mole of that sky contains how many stars? It contains 6.023 to 10 to the power of 23. And this number is nothing but our address number. Right? One mole of the substance occupies how much volume? That is 22.4 liters of volume. In this room, we have gases, different gases, or the mixture of gases are present in this room. And this mixture of gases occupies how much volume? Right? It occupies 22.4 liters of volume at STP. And one mole of the substance expressed in terms of mass as gram atomic mass, gram molecular mass, and formula unit mass. As we discussed, formula unit mass is nothing but the, sub the substance is obtained from ions, positive and negative, cation and anion. Right? And using this mole concept, right, we can calculate the substance occupying how much volume, what is its atomic mass, molecular mass, and also the number of particles present in it. Right? So we are going to have three formulas, three important formulas to be uh, learned from this whole concept, which is going to be very, very useful to solve the numericals present in this chapter. Right? So let us look at the formulas of the whole concept. So please go through this flowchart, understand this flowchart. And uh, using this formulas, right, we are going to solve numericals in the next class, right? Before that, please uh, let us look at the formulas. So, one mole of the substance, right, contains how many particles? That is 6.023 to 10 to the power of 23 particles and occupies 22.4 liters of volume, right? So, number of moles, in order to calculate number of moles, right, number of moles. This can be calculated using mass, volume and particles. So let us take first mass. Mass of the substance by gram molecular weight or 
mass of the substance by gram atomic weight. If the question is asked in terms of molecule, in terms of molecule, then we have to write mass of the substance by gram molecular weight. Say for example, if I give you oxygen gas, so what is the formula for the oxygen gas? We studied in the previous classes, right? We have to write it as O2, not 2O. We have to write it as O2, right? It's a molecule. So what is the formula we have to use here? Mass of the substance by gram molecular weight. Say for example, if I ask you about oxygen element, so what we have to use the formula? Mass of the substance by gram atomic weight, right? Because single O is not a molecule, it is an element. It is an element, right? When I give you O2, right? When I give you O2, you have to write gram molecular weight. When I give you 2O, you need to write gram atomic weight, right? And next, when you want to know the number of moles in terms of volume, number of moles when volume is provided, so volume by 22.4 liters, volume by 22.4 liters. You, if you want to calculate number of moles when volume is provided, right? So number of moles is equal to volume by 22.4. When you want to calculate volume when number of moles is provided, number of moles is equal to volume by 22.4. In the same way for particles, number of moles is equal to number of particles by Avogadro's number. Now what is Avogadro's number? That is 6.023 to 10 to the power of 23. Using these three formulas, these are the shortcut methods for us to understand or solve the numericals under mole concept. Right? <coughs> under mole concept. So let us recall the formulas. Based on these formulas, right, our next class we are going to solve the numericals. So what are the formulas? Number of moles to calculate number of moles, right? Mass of the substance by gram molecular weight or mass of the substance by gram atomic weight. Number of moles is equal to volume by 22.4, right? Say for example, one mole of oxygen gas, right? One mole of oxygen gas occupies how much volume, right? One mole of oxygen gas occupies how much volume? So the one mole is provided, number of moles are provided, and uh, the 22.4 liters is provided. You need to calculate the volume, right? Next, number of moles is equal to number of particles by our Gadbrus number, right? So when you want to calculate moles, when you, when you want to calculate number of moles in terms of particles, so that is number of particles by our Gadbrus number. So based on these three formulas, in the next class, we are going to solve n number of numericals under whole concept, which is very very important topic. Right? You can expect two marks and four marks from this questions, from this concept. Right? Thank you. Have a good day.